13th award is the De Beers Canada Indigenous Partnership Award. The De Beers Canada Indigenous Partnership Award is awarded to a business and Indigenous partners that have demonstrated excellence in innovation, employment and relationship building while driving the sustainability of Indigenous businesses and communities. Dans la catégorie Prix du Partenariat Autochtone, commandité par De Beers Canada, les finalistes sont... And the finalists are Niwin General Partner Incorporated, NPLH Drilling, and The Bucket Shop. Niwin General Partnership involves four First Nations, uh, Metogamy, Wagashig, Metachewan, and Flying Post. We are involved in the mining sector. We do uh, in-house training for non-Aboriginals and First Nation members. The training involves uh, loaders, bulldozers, haul trucks, excavators. So we are being more involved with the mining sector to actually get the Niwin General Partnership name out in the industry. And we want to continue great work with the resources and the management team that we do have. NPLH Drilling is excited to be nominated for the De Beers Canada Indigenous Partnership Award. We have demonstrated how our collaboration, commitment, learning and leadership make us an excellent candidate for this prestigious award. Our current joint venture partnership with CreekWest Corp has been structured to benefit not only one First Nation community, but that of Wagashig, Tequitagmu and Moose Cree First Nation. We pride ourselves in also creating long-lasting relationships with Metogamy and Flying Post First Nation on the Cote Gold project. We have strengthened our Indigenous partnerships throughout 2020 in two significant ways. Firstly, we've created an Aboriginal women's training program for welding which has been tremendously successful. 100% of the women have graduated with welding certifications. Secondly, we've grown our alliance partnerships with First Nations groups throughout the territories, and that's contributed significantly to the impact benefit agreements that the First Nations groups hold with the mine sites throughout Northern Ontario. So overall, our Indigenous partnerships have prospered, and it's helped us, it's helped the women, and it's helped the mining sector at large. And the Nova Award goes to the Bucket Shop. Wow, what a tremendous honor. Thank you so much for the acknowledgement. Uh, I have to first of all tell you that I'm here representing the Woodward family. And in particular, Paul Woodward had an idea about seven years ago to create a training program that would help the labor challenges we were experiencing. And that training program, he knew that in some way, shape or form, we wanted to focus on Indigenous partnerships. Uh, 18 months ago, he allowed us to get involved with a company called Keepers of the Circle out of Kirkland Lake. And we, in the space of two weeks, created an Aboriginal women's training program for welding. And it's been an extraordinary success. When we started, we had no idea how well it would turn out. We crossed our fingers and we had no expectations other than let's put them through this crash course curriculum that we kind of made up. And uh, here we are 18 months later, 100% of the graduates have welding certification and many of them are employed full time either with us or in the mining sector. So that was the Indigenous partnership number one that we're really, really proud of and it's growing. Uh, to give you a little bit of foresight, it's grown so much and captured the attention of the provincial government and the mining sector that we've been asked if we would consider creating a dedicated training center for Aboriginal people and other people to get more credentials in welding. So it's been just tremendous. Uh, as the cornerstone of our Indigenous partnership, that successful program has led us to develop a couple significant alliance agreements with First Nations throughout the territory. And those First Nations agreements have not only increased revenue and employment for us, but it's contributed to the impact benefit agreements of the mines throughout the territory. So when we looked at the whole picture over the last 18 months, uh, where we were and where we come, come, well, come from and where we are now, uh, it's been extraordinary. We've changed the lives of several Aboriginal people. Uh, we've created more skilled trades people in the sector. We've added revenue and employment to ourselves and the mines and we have many, many long-term projects that have come as a result. So overall, I can't thank everyone enough, particularly the Woodward family for the faith in the program and the investment that it took to get it off the ground, not knowing what direction we were going. Our direction is very clear, it's been very prosperous, 
And we are really excited for the next few years about growing this program again. So thank you everyone. Thank you to the Woodward family. We really appreciate the support.